Congratulations on your deal. How are you feeling about being at Celtic? Uh, first of all, good morning. Hello, thank you. And yeah, I feel really grateful to be here, to be part of this family. And uh, yeah, like I said before, also Celtic is a big club, and one of the big, uh, the best club in Scotland, you can say. And uh, I'm really uh, happy to be part of the family, and I can't wait to start it. You were close on pre-season with Rapid Bear. When did you first hear of the interest from Celtic? It started actually like uh, last week that I got uh, informed that the club was uh, interested, and uh, it went w very fast also for me. So now, yeah, I'm here, and uh, yeah, I started the training camp uh, with uh, Rapid, and I left uh, two days ago the training camp to to join the club Celtic. What was it that convinced you to, to move here? I think if you hear, of course, uh, Celtic is a big club in Europe. And uh, if you hear that Celtic is interested in you, you can, uh, of course, not say no. And uh, that was also an, a nice step for me also to make uh, the next step in my career. And uh, now I'm here and I want to make the, uh, the I want to write the history also in this club. And uh, yeah. The fans saw a little glimpse of you when you played against Rangers last season in, in Europe. What can the fans expect from you? For me, I mean, uh, my qualities is yeah my skills and I'm fast enough I think and uh, yeah and I think the fans will love me with my uh, with my uh, skills and my uh, power in the pitch the the will that I give them the, the because I always try to go 100% on the pitch and uh, I think that the fans will uh, love it. Celtic. No, anyway. Celtic's left back at the moment, Kieran Tierney is the number one choice. So, you, if he stays at the club, are you looking forward to that competition for places at left back? It's, I think it's always a healthy competition to have a concurrent like this player. I think he's also a good player. I had a lot of positive things about him, and uh, for me, it's always yeah, I was uh, open for a for a healthy competition. And I think we will, if he will stay, then uh, we will just work together and uh, try to give everything for the club. That's if he stays, but if he goes, does that add more pressure to you that you have to replace him and you have to play well? I mean, uh, I can. I never have pressure in my career. I always uh, enjoy to play football, even when I'm on the pitch, then uh, you just have to enjoy the, f uh, the football, so the pressure, no. Is that something you spoke to the club about, whether Sorry? Is it something you asked the club for assurances about whether Kieran Tierney would be staying or going? Sorry, I didn't understand. Is it something you asked the club about whether Kieran Tierney would be staying or going? Or are you happy no, I didn't say, I didn't ask anything, you know. I just came for myself because I love the club. It's a big club and it was a good step for me to make uh, the step to, uh, to my next career. And uh, I didn't ask if the player going to stay or not. And I just came here for the club and to make history if we're going to stay or not. It's gonna change nothing for my for my decision that I took. Have, have you spoken to Neil Lennon? What did he have to say about joining Celtic, the manager? I didn't spoke with him yet, but uh, after this uh, we will have a good conversation. And uh, I heard already positive things also about him. And uh, yeah, he's the one also that really wanted me. So yeah. One of the big draws for Celtic is obviously Champions League football. Is that something that you would relish playing here in a big stage with front of a big crowd? Yeah, for sure. I think uh, for sure already to play in Celtic in this stadium, it's something amazing, of course. And then to play in the Champions League, that's also a big dream for every player. So that will be a double big fe big feeling. So yeah, we, I can't wait to play in this stadium for the fans and to play also, of course, the Champions League. What did you know about Celtic before you joined the club? Celtic, the fans, of course. The fans, is, yeah, I heard a lot about the fans and uh, how the the club, is. A, they have a big history also. and. Uh, like I know also that they, they won the treble the last three years, so I just uh, hope that we can continue like this and uh, win a lot of uh, titles in the future. Your cousin obviously plays in British football already. Did you perhaps speak to him before moving to the UK or anyone else? Actually, not really. I didn't spoke to anyone about my transfer. I was just just my family, of course. And uh, yeah, it's a surprise for the most of the people outside uh, for my transfer that I made to Celtic. So yeah. So just going back to obviously your position at the club, is it important for you to be playing regular football? Is that what you came to Celtic to do? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm an offensive uh, player, so I like to have the ball, you know. So uh, Celtic is also a team that uh, like to play football, and uh, that's also one of the reasons. And uh, they are also an offensive club, so 
that's a, that's a good thing also for my uh, qualities, I did think. You, yeah, that's um, Did you look for any assurances or promises when you were negotiating with the club that you would get enough game time that you'd be able to play enough football this coming season? I think the, the step that I made is, uh, of course, you come here in a big club. I think I have to show my, my qualities also and uh, which the time that I will show the, the team and the clubs, I think uh, you, will, you, could, you can get your chance then from that. Have you, is this also an opportunity for you to think to move into the Belgian national team? Do you see this as a, a way that you can work your way into Roberto Martinez's side as well? I'm just trying to do all my best here to win a lot of games, to, to, to show my qualities to the fans, to, the, to this country, Scotland also. And uh, what happened uh, in the future, we will see. We will see what's going to happen. Given that Dedrick Boyata was playing at Celtic and he was in the Belgian national team, does it give you encouragement though that playing in Scotland you can still get into the national team? I think it's something positive uh, to be, of course, in the part of the national team of Belgium because it's you have a lot of great players there. We have a big uh, team in the national team of Belgium, so it's it's ours to be part of them. But uh, first of all, now I'm here. It's, an, it's a new challenge for me. It's the same color, of course, but a new challenge for me. But uh, I just want uh, to start my season here and uh, to show the people what I can. Do you have a final message for the Celtic fans? I just can't wait to start and we're going to have a great season together and, uh, and let's hope to win more titles together. Are you ready to play next week in Sarajevo if, if called upon? I'm ready, I'm fit, so let's see what the coach is going to say or for not. But uh, for myself, physically and everything, I'm ready to play. Do you feel more comfortable playing as a fullback or a wingback? So is it more of an attacking role or more of a defensive role? Let's say I'm more an attacking role. I'm more an attacking role, so the people are going to see me more in front than uh, defending. But <laughs> I should do this, the both part, but uh, yeah, I'm more an, an attacking fullback. Are you more used to playing with two central defenders or three central defenders? With two central defenders, so uh, that's also a part that I can do, like both uh, system, let's say, with three central defenders or with two central defenders, so, yeah. Good luck. Thank you, Thank you very much. much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. 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 Thank you.